with y'all what is good it is y'all the sage returning for another amazingly amazing video uh what's popping i'm um, glad to be back um so we just gonna get right into it okay so from the title of this video uh, i might ruffle some feathers a little bit but that's okay um i've been wanting to do this for a while but just actually implementing it and kind of structuring it to see what i was gonna say but anyway uh this is a video about why i'm no longer pro-black anymore you know with the afrocentric movement and martin luther king and fight for our rights and shit and all that bullshit okay i'm no longer pro-black i used to be i used to be okay uh, when i started my spiritual journey i went from conspiracy theorist to hotep empress and now I am in alignment with Godhood. Making this video primarily for those who are uh, African American because that's what I am and most of y'all are me. So um, if you want to improve your life, if you want to go places that nobody's ever been, uh, especially in your family or in your community, if you want to travel, start a business, become a millionaire, uh, become a housewife, uh, become a business owner, CEO, whatever dream that you have. If you want to have some big dream, you cannot listen to the black community. Okay. All the black community's opinions about what you're going to do are going to be incompatible because black people, black Americans are in survival mode. Okay. Um, and me analyzing this and looking at this in a practical way kind of helps me understand. Um, so after 1865, you know, when slavery was abolished, um, black people were trying to find work. Okay. Now for what about, what is it about 200 years prior to that slavery was already a thing. So being newly released from captivity and all you know is to work for another person or, you know, it's a slave for another person. Uh, you know, trying to get on your own is going to be a little difficult okay it's going to be you're going to have to adapt in your own way okay um so after 1865 uh a lot of the interactions between black americans and their family and community was very uh extremely dysfunctional and toxic because of the things that we experienced in slavery uh, a lot of people just think that slavery was just throwing a motherfucker in change and this is just beating them when they didn't do what you said. Uh, but it was more than that, okay? A lot of people don't understand the de the very pinpoint day-to-day -day details of what slavery really entailed. Slave masters, they used to make you practice incest uh, just to reproduce more bodies because more bodies, humans are resources. So more bodies, more slaves, more money. So they would make you reproduce with your mama if you had to. A son would have sex with his mom if he needed to okay i know that's a little graphic but it's reality of this country they used to do experiments on black women with their fetuses uh especially if you were a pregnant woman okay they did a whole bunch of experiments on us uh they would take sometimes they would y'all i know y'all heard the story about how uh some of them the the white americans back then they used to take black babies and use them as alligator bait that's true uh Black men would do castration. Um, you had rape, okay? Not just with the slave masters and the slave women, but also the slave masters was also raping the slave men, okay? In front of their family, okay? Emasculating that man in front of his family. Like, it's hard to kind of respect your man and your husband when you just saw him to his ass up for the white man, okay? So when you're experiencing, like, and that's just even... That's just surface level. That, like, that's just not even everything, okay? But slavery was just more than just beating a motherfucker. It's shit like that. Some fucked up shit, incest, emotional abuse, all that, right? So coming out of 1865, you carry all that trauma. And like I said, trauma is just not one lifetime. Trauma is passed through the, the nervous system through DNA. And uh, a lot of the effects from slavery has an effect on black Americans today. Uh, and a lot of it is including competition 
and a lot of black people are in survivor mode okay because that's what happened in slavery a lot of people think that even though slavery ended in 1865 supposedly because we still got the prison system which is a form of slavery um but a lot of people think that just because slavery ended in 1865 the mental effects don't affect us and it does okay so with that being said um even seeing today with black americans today uh put each other down talk about each other kill each other uh mothers turning it against daughters fathers in competition with sons okay uh, and just from what i've observed especially living in atlanta okay it's kind of put the nail in the coffin of really giving up on the black community and just paving your own way to godhood being your own individual self outside of the expectations and the the expectations and the social norms of a certain type of community uh so you got to understand a lot of our as black americans a lot of our social norms come from the development of slavery after we our original traditions and our original beliefs and our original you know pra uh, religious practices were stripped away from us names were stripped away from us so we brought on a new identity in the form of slavery and the trauma that came with it okay? now we see in the black community that uh most black americans do not care about each other um i observe uh even certain celebrities you know what i'm saying uh about how the people who be in their comments be black people and they say the nastiest things in the on the planet you feel what i'm saying uh it's just dysfunctional like i said is it 100 percent our fault no it's not 100 percent our fault but it is your responsibility to decide to make a change okay so broken homes that's not really our fault because during slavery uh, males were just used as breeders so they could not stay with their offspring okay um so and that ideology is still prevalent in the black community today it's prevalent that black fathers are not as active i mean now in today's age yes black fathers are doing much much better but black fathers are getting praised for something that should already be done but you got to understand like after Jim Crow and slavery, that shit does take a, a mental toll on a group of people. And like I said, it wasn't just beating and and, and it wasn't just beating and snatching you away from your, your family and stuff. It was a whole bunch, like I said, a whole bunch of other shit that went on. Incest, medical experiments, uh, narcissism, putting other niggas, putting the house niggas in the field, niggas in competition with one another. We see that now and today. You know what I'm saying? The light skin and dark skin stuff going on. So a lot of the stuff that was done to us in slavery is still prevalent today. Um, like I said, the black community don't care about each other. Families are dysfunctional. Don't care about one another. Uh, parents in competition with kids. Um, it could be a black public figure. And the main people that's criticizing this black public figure are black people, your own people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even dealing with Young Dolph. Young Dolph got killed by somebody jealous his own people you know what i'm saying just because he liked to shine just because they see somebody doing better for themselves and they see somebody that's not becoming a statistic it strikes envy so black people don't even care about each other you know what i'm saying and then on top of that religiously uh they still hold uh christianity near and dear to their hearts you know what i'm saying because of slavery like i said black people christianity is not at least the the european form of christianity so the roman catholic church and baptist and all that that's not original to us we're attracted to those stories because jesus mary joseph are just remixed versions of aset haru and asar okay so that's why we're attracted to those stories because it's actually an Egyptian story, but they just took it, remixed it, and resold it to us in the form of white Jesus, okay? So until the black community makes progress in getting rid of throwing out that bullshit ass viral and get rid of fucking white Jesus, they will never see any progress, 
okay uh, black people are in competition with one another they don't care about each other but then like i said when things are done to us we want justice but how can you know what i'm saying how can you want just how how can you expect some some people it, it is that's just natural how can you expect other people to treat you a certain way when you don't even treat yourself a certain way like that you feel what i'm saying so you really got to think about that um if it ain't jesus the church uh and whatever social norms that the black community feel like you should abide by their little box um you're going to be outcast and ostracized because you think different or you want different things for yourself okay so you can't if you're on the path of enlightenment if you like hey i want to get in touch with my spiritual self i want to reach the highest my highest timeline i want to uh just be better okay you cannot listen to the opinions of the black community especially me being a black woman uh, in the black community, uh, the black women take on the more masculine role in the black community. Wow. And I, I grew up in a, in a home like that where the women in my family, they put the black men on pedestals, but they're not they're They're putting them on pedestals just because they have a penis, but they're not holding the responsibility of masculinity to those males. So those males in my family on my maternal side end up being mediocre. You know what I'm saying? They're not really high achieving, high accomplishing. It's really the women on my mom's side of the family that are more high high accomplishing. And they're expected to play the role of both masculine and feminine while the man just there. So you have ideologies like that. You know what I'm saying? Most, uh, a lot of black men were raised by single mothers who didn't really have, who really couldn't maintain healthy relationships with other males. So they had this emotional incest thing going on with their sons and they bullying their sons. So the younger generation of black American men don't really understand the benefits and the purpose of why they were put on this planet. And that is to provide and protect the planet and the women that are on this planet. But due to, like I said, ideologies, okay, um, caused by American history, we have gotten miswarped okay because originally africans were a matrilineal society meaning the feminine was highlighted and put first um in egypt after i say at least before before the greeks started to intermingle themselves into egypt um you couldn't even be a pharaoh without sitting upon a council of women to appoint you to pharaoh okay um uh, if these council of women said that you were unfit to lead you could not be pharaoh but if they felt like you were fit to lead they'd be like all right nigga, we'll give you the power we'll give you the throne just make sure you handle everything else that we need you to handle and it was in balance and it was in wisdom and everything flow how it's supposed to flow it's not like that no more okay we came a long way from that that's no longer the case now so if you are trying to better yourself and stay the ancient knowledge and uh, shift to your highest timeline you cannot listen to the opinions of the black community because they're in survival's mode okay most black people they don't even understand they're so wrapped up in jesus they don't even understand their power okay we are the genetic dominating human being on the planet that's why racism exists racism exists because other people understand that if we keep pre reproducing at the rate that we're reproducing we're going to overpopulate everybody else and then everybody else will be that minority because we are the dominant gene if you remember in school uh mendel's punnett square okay dark skin dark hair dark eyes those are dominant genes light hair light skin light eyes are recessive genes in terms of natural selection the dominant gene is going is more likely to survive than recessive genes this is just science and a lot of black people are disconnected but a lot of black americans are disconnected from themselves okay so i said and don't get me wrong y'all i love my people i love being black 
I think black people are gods. But the problem is black people don't view themselves as gods. They're not operating in their divinity like we were created to do so because we are God's people. We were the first beings to be created. And in, even in the Bible, don't it say man created, uh, God created man in his image? And we all know the first person was probably an African, a black person, a melanated person. So, but we don't know that. And that disconnect is what's causing the issue. That disconnect on top of generations of trauma inflicted by people who are sulfur-based beings, <laughs> genetically modified sulfur-based beings. <laughs> we being fucking traumatized by them, you know, so I understand. I don't take it too personally. It's just time to move on, time to evolve and elevate. Oh, all right, y'all are God's people. Melanin is everywhere. And the thing about black people not acting in their divinity, melanin can either give you superpowers or it can make you sleep. It can really make, make it hard for you to kind of come into this type of consciousness. Like that's why melanin, black people get addicted to shit real fast. Cause melanin is like, I think I said this in one of my videos a couple of years ago. Melanin is like a, a bonding agent. It's like Venom, like the movie Venom, Spider-Man. Venom is like, some plasma form dark entity that can shape shift and have all these abilities and these hyper senses and this agility and shit that's melanin but the thing about melanin is you have to work with it to you have to work with it so it can work for you okay like god gave you melanin god giving you melanin was like throwing you an alley-oop but it's up to you like you know, spirit throw it to you but you still got to catch it and dunk it and make the point, okay? That's what ha having melanin is like. And if you don't do your part, it's not going to, that's why a lot of people aren't happy. It's not going to uh, create, uh, you'll just be powerless and your suffering will continue. And like I said, the body already a fucking prison. So we already here, we already gotta eat to survive, drink water to survive. Every time I turn around, I'm fucking hungry, gotta feed my body. Like we already here. Why not magic and melanin and all this occult supernatural shit? It's like cheat codes. It makes life easier. It makes life more fulfilling. It's a balance. Say this to say again. If you want to be better, do better, do something that nobody around you in your current environment is doing, do not expect support from your community. You have to go and find your own tribe of other black Americans or black people like myself who are on a certain path or are trying to help people in healing and self-realization and changing their self-concept and you go from there but do not expect and do not take you know what I'm saying even since the civil rights movement nothing has changed why has nothing changed because we're still doing the same we still have these psychological things in our mind from slavery and then the government is using that against us to keep us in a certain state. This is why economically, out of everybody in the world, black Americans are doing the most, the, the worst economically. So if you want a business plan, you can't ask your uncle BJ who work on cars and smoke a cigarette about, do you think, hey, uncle BJ, hey, uncle Earl, do you think this is a good plan? He's, he's not gonna know. All he know is just, I gotta get up, make a paycheck, work five days a week and then the two days I got I might smoke and drink and then I'm right, right back to working for somebody else and making them rich because that's all I know and that's all I've been taught okay and then on top of that I love Jesus ain't nobody gonna separate me between me and my Jesus so you know what I'm saying you can't you have to it's now time to start so that's why all that black unity shit is get it out your head it's never gonna happen Okay, black people can't even properly effortlessly plan a family reunion. How the fuck are we gonna plan 
a fucking nation. It's not going to happen because it's not meant to happen. Okay. I feel like it's time for some new shit. So throw all that black unity and shit out the way. I'm no longer pro, pro black. I am pro is your heart righteous. I am pro. I don't care what you look like, what your skin is, who you are. Is your heart righteous? Do you have a righteous heart? Are you going around the are you going around your environment and terrorizing other people because you have trauma and you don't know how to self-regulate and you just dumping your inner demons and your inner turmoil on others? Or are you taking accountability for yourself? Be like, hey, I know shit happened to me, but I'm not gonna take it out on other people. I'm gonna deal with my shit, recreate who I want. Pull myself from my bootstraps, raise myself from my ashes, and I'm going to become something different. Are you going to do that? Like I said, nothing has changed from Martin Luther King till today. Okay. And then on top of that, motherfuckers is still praying, oh, protect us from police brutality to Jesus when that's their God. It's like you're, it's like you're asking their God to save you from them. That's not our God. Jesus is not our God. That's why we keep being in the same positions that we are. Because religion, religion affects your mind. It keeps you, because religion shapes how you view the world. So if, if you view the world in this box as religion, then that's the reality that you're gonna get. That's why most black people don't go nowhere, don't travel don't study nothing outside the culture you know what i'm saying that's why if even if you move out your hometown you come back to your home so i know i can relate to this i come back to detroit motherfuckers still doing the same shit when i left five six years ago you know so you have to really throw that shit out get rid of the black community get rid of the idea that there's going to be black unity there's never going to be black, black unity because black people don't even like themselves okay and like i said it's not personal because our sense of self-concept was wiped out during slavery you feel what i'm saying it's not 100 percent our fault but it's too much information out here you literally have a computer in your pocket called a phone to do a whole bunch of research and information to who you are, what's really going on in the world. It's, it's too many resources out here for you to be ignorant. We're literally in the age of technology. It's too many resources, resources out here, too many books, too much information. That's why they're trying to sh shut down TikTok because TikTok is an avenue for information. I had my breakthroughs through TikTok. I saved myself 10 years of karmic cycles because somebody has said, said something on TikTok. I'd be like, damn, that is right. Fuck. Then I, Bam, had a breakthrough, broke through a karmic cycle, saved me time so I can become the highest version of myself. You feel what I'm saying? So you can't listen to the black community. Leave them where they is. Nothing's going to change. And um, it is what it is. You need to meet other individuals who are also on their path. Just like you. Okay, you sitting here trying to sell apples to a motherfucker that like oranges, shootings are unjustified. Uh, are justified? They are not. But like I said, if if we if we had a different spiritual protection over us, I feel like people who do get killed in the street, they don't have a certain amount of spiritual protection over them. Okay, um, and your original African practices are going to save you and protect you way much better than Jesus can. But that's the access to a certain amount of power and everybody's not ready to come into that amount of power and that amount of accountability on their lives so it is what it is i'm just giving you the bird's eye view of what the fuck it is okay so with that being said i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you took this video the wrong way i'm you're probably the type of person i'm talking about i don't give a fuck i don't care because it's time for a change and you my world needs motherfuckers like me to tell to tell shit how it is okay so with that being said um i'm still doing readings like i said pdf natal chart readings uh they be 12 15 16 pages long of all of your chart and all of the description of your chart so uh i put all my information in the description box you already know the drill um and until next time bye